I'm George Rinelli. I'm uh, an architect in New York City. I've been in practice for more than 30 years, and I'm also dean of the Bernard Nan Spitzer School of Architecture at City College of New York. Um, I've been in professional practice uh, designing an array of projects that have been residential, commercial, and institutional projects, and most recently, of course, the Saratoga Avenue Community Center for the New York City Housing Authority. I think the building, uh, the building has received a lot of critical acclaim uh, because it's marking new ground. It's, it's really looking to make a bridge to history. It's looking to certainly make a public statement that uh, there, there is an idea about public buildings which represents community. It represents a civic identity. The idea of building a masonry building which is dense and durable. Uh, the idea that it had a, a new, uh, uh, new reference to ornament, uh, to a level of interest and, and a material palette which was unusual, certainly for the New York City Housing Authority in that it utilized casting stone uh, with a lot of ornamental features. It had mahogany doors and windows, things which were wa a warmer material palette, and that it was tied to a much longer tradition of uh, civic buildings. One of the things that uh, was most important to me in, in looking at that project to begin with was really to evaluate and reevaluate the idea of urban space in the middle of the city. So uh, as you know all of those housing towers were large slab buildings situated on an anonymous uh, parcel of land which had been which had demolished a lot of other low-rise housing types. Um, when we approached the problem, uh, it was very important to use this building to rethink this urban, uh, this urban condition. We were able to reconfigure that piece of urban land. We were able to use the building to seam together uh, some existing buildings on the site and the tower and to really make the block whole again instead of having the slab, the windswept plaza, and then some uh, uh, buildings sitting uh, rather separately on another part of the urban, on this urban block. For me, it was an, an idea of going back and reevaluating how we make cities and to see the inclusion of a new building and especially a new public building as a way of reimagining and, and, and uh, re-looking at how cities are made. For the most part of the 20th century, architects have been working in a model with, where if there's an environment they generally make the opposite of whatever the environment is. So if, if it's a masonry environment, you know, most of modernism has made glass boxes or has made buildings which were iconic that stood out and, and didn't necessarily blend in. And I was, uh, in a lot of the interviews and, and discussions with clients, I was becoming more and more aware of both people's dissatisfaction with that as an idea and that, it, that in looking at all these buildings over, over the years of modern architecture, um, that, the, that we were not making whole cities anymore, that we were making a series of iconic objects that had no relationship to one another. So I was interested in trying to put those pieces back together as architects did for centuries, and obviously still look to make a, an, uh, a building which stood out on its own terms, that, that was still an important building and made a, an important statement on its own, but also that could blend into the community. So as I grew up in New York, uh, my desire was wanting to practice architecture and contribute to the life of the city uh, and, and to make it better than the place uh, that I had received. It's very interesting that the students at City College upon graduation have to recite an amphibic oath and the Ephibic the Oath is a, a solemn promise that, that they will leave the city a better place than the city they found. Um, I'm still moved to tears on most graduations after 13 years um, that uh, I recite it with the students. I believe it fervently and I have enjoyed the, the ability to be able to contribute to uh, continuing to make the city a much more beautiful and comfortable environment for its residents and its inhabitants.